hi beautiful viewers uh welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl okay strength please subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe share like view today i'm gonna to be telling you the spiritual benefits of salt the spiritual benefits of salt we all know salt is mainly used for cooking but aside cooking salt has so many spiritual benefits and the number one benefit of it is if you're facing obstacles maybe you have so many problems coming your way or whenever you have this good plan in, in you in your mind that you want to execute there is this calamity problems that always comes up during that time in order for you not to execute that plan guys salt can be the remedy for it all you need to do is first two spoon of salt in, the, in your bathroom bucket it has to be warm water use warm water first two spoon of salt in your bathroom bucket then after that you take it to the bathroom early in the morning early in the morning then you use it to bath as you're bathing you'll be saying your prayers whatever you don't want any obstacles coming your way any calamity god should revoke it seriously try it it's really really good it's nice if you try it and as you do that with faith and with god every problems every obstacles will be rebooked in your life so the second benefit of it is if you're having if you're married a man you're having these issues you always have issues with your husband or your husband don't have this good intention for you anymore he don't love you or he has been giving you some attitude all you just need to do is you fetch like three spoon of salt in a in a bowl in a small bowl three spoon of salt in a small bowl after that you say your prayer you pray to heat you tell God what you want it has to be new salt guys everything you have to do with this all the spiritual works it has to be new salt it has to be new one you can't use the one you have at home it has to be new one you tell God Please, this is what you want. This is what you want your husband to be doing for you. This is the things you want. It's not like your husband to be washing your clothes or your own. This, please, guys, don't misunderstand me. But if you want favor from your husband's side, that is what he's all about. You pray the kind of things you want him to be doing. You want him to care for you, and God will answer your prayer. And you use that salt to be cooking. Whatever you want to cook his food, you use that salt to cook for him. You, you you make sure that's what you're using to cook for him till it's finished anytime you, you want to eat you use that sort to cook for him another benefit of it is if you feel there is this bad energy in your house maybe you already have this bad dream that there's this demon spirit in your room all you need to do is fetch uh, salt and put it in the far corner of your house put it in the far corner of your house but it's best if you live for 24 hours, but if you're tired that your house is always full with crowd, visitors, you can leave it for some hours, maybe like three hours, then you sweep it after three hours. Guys, it's really good. Put it in the four corner of your house. As you're putting it in the four corner of your house, you keep praying. Every bad demon, every bad energy in my house, I send you out. I send you out. As I'm putting the salt in the four corner of the house, I send you out. And guys you're gonna see changes you feel relaxed you feel relaxed guys and um it prevents demons also from coming in it prevents them from coming here all you need to do is look for a corner of your the entrance of your house just pour it pour it like a line a tiny line that anyone that wants to come in can pass it cross it and enter make sure anyone that wants to come into your house has to cross that source before entering your house that's all you need to do so you put it tiny at the entrance of it maybe one corner at the entrance of your house but make sure anyone that want to come in you cross it guys so it prefer it prevents bad energy and anyone that doesn't have good intention that visited you as they are crossing that sort every bad intention in them will be quenched will quench they, they won't succeed as far as they pass through that sort they won't succeed that is it they will not succeed and the last one that i'm going to be telling you is if you feel there's this bad energy in you like you know 
bad energy th these are the symptoms maybe you always think bad thing of yourself you always think bad of yourself every thought that come to your mind is always negative 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 well you have been facing so many problems and you don't know why you are feeling you don't you're not feeling comfortable anytime you're not feeling relaxed your head is always swelling that is the symptoms of bad energy in your system all you need to do is you fetch three spoon of so you look for a bucket a bathing bucket you pour warm water in it that you that will reach your maybe your hair bow. I, I mean your nail sorry your knee your leg because you're going to be putting your two leg in that bucket then before you put your two leg you look for a white towel put it aside and three spoon of salt you pour it inside the water then you put your two legs. But as you're putting your two legs, guys, don't allow your two legs to touch each other. Your two legs shouldn't touch each other. Maintain this maybe one or two uh, meter distance of your two feet. So you pray and you time yourself. The time your leg will be using in that, in that water must not be more than 15 minutes. Must not be more than 15 minutes. You put and you pray to you. You imagine how the bad energy you going out. You be imagining. I think you thinking, and you pray to your God, and you be mentioning the name of God. You mentioning the, the name of God for that 15 minutes. Then after that, you remove your two leg, your first leg, and clean it without white towel, and the second leg clean with the white towel. Then you pour the water you use in the toilet. In the, in the toilet, you have to pour it in the toilet. Please don't pour it in a public place. You have to pour it in the toilet. Then you use clean water, if possible, use soap to wash the rubber in case any other person wants to use it to bath. So, guys, another one is if you are going for an interview or you always have this disappointment whenever you go for interview, for job, for money, for anything, for favor, all you just need to do is you put salt maybe like one two spoon in a white leather in a very pure white leather or in a small paper that you can tie put it in your wallet put it make sure it's in your body before going to that interview make sure it's in your body just go to your interview and with faith and god everything will be fine you will meet favor and favor will locate you guys so trust me guys try here and it's working you don't need to go to anyone you don't need to go to any other list these are natural things that god has given to us salt even in olden days this is what they use and it's good for them because salt is joy and salt signifies joy it signifies happiness and it signifies solution to all problems so try here and you're gonna thank god so guys please subscribe to my channel for more entertainment news and lt please subscribe to my channel thank you guys